Ooh, my name's Gareth and welcome to Fat Pigeon Reviews. Right, today we are looking at the Harman Kardon Citation 200 Bluetooth speaker. Wireless speaker. Smart speaker, I think they call it on the website. It's very smart. Uh, and we'll see why in a few moments. The specifications on this, the actual speaker itself. Now I thought, because the fabric goes all the wraps all the way around, uh, just for some reason, it was my own, my own fault, uh, I thought it was a 360 degree speaker, which it's not, it's just a front firing speaker. It has a 25 millimeter tweeter on it, a little dome tweeter. Uh, it has a 120 mil base mid-range driver, so a four inch driver at the bottom here, which is what produces the base. Now, the base gets low enough, I mean, it's a singular Bluetooth speaker, so you, you don't expect in the world, I understand that. It ranges from 40 hertz to 20,000 hertz, and it's a 50 watt, it's got a 50 watt amplifier built in. So it produces some decent power. Bluetooth 4.2, so it's not Bluetooth 5.0, but 4.2 is absolutely fine. It's the standard, I think, uh, for a sort of Bluetooth speaker like this. It has a three hour charging time via the dock, and an eight hour, up to eight hours, Battery life, depending on how you know you how how loud you have it, what sort of volume settings you've got, you can actually get up to eight hours of this just moving freely around the room, out in the garden, wherever you want to be. The reason it's a smart speaker is it's because it has a Google Cast built into it, so you can stream via the Google uh, Cast or you can use the Bluetooth. Um, I've actually set it all up because I've got Google Home on my phone, on my Android phone. It works also on um, Apple as well. Uh, but I've, so I've already set up the Google Home with some Arcam amplifiers and stuff. So very easy to connect. So yeah, there's a switch on the back uh, that allows you to turn on the, off the microphone for Google Assist. So you can actually speak to the speaker. Um, and then you can play your music from there, ask it all sorts of questions. and even tell you a joke. It's also got the, like I said, this USB-C charging port at the back and a little, a little light with a Wi-Fi signal, a little Wi-Fi logo um, that goes red when it's not connected to the internet and then it turns green when it is connected to the internet. Uh, so you know if you're having problems with it, just look at the back. Uh, if it's red, it's not actually connected to your home network, but as soon as it is, like I say, it does turn green. Yeah, so for the battery indicator on the top, when I first got the, it was actually dead. Uh, and it just had this one white light on all the time. And I thought, what does that do? I can't, I'm pressing buttons, I'm trying to figure stuff out. And it turns out there's actually, actually five increments across the top. And that's just the display. So the more and more the battery's charged, uh, the, higher the, you know, the higher the number of dots that you get. You know, like a progress bar of charging, as it were. So the voice controls. The voice controls are very convenient. I do like them. My kids absolutely love the fact that they can just shout across the room because kids like to do that. So they just shout across the room and tell it what to play. Okay, so let's give her a try. I keep saying her because it's a woman's voice. Hey Google, play royalty free music from Spotify. Okay, playing the album royalty free music, restaurant background music on Spotify. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah. Hey Google, can you turn it up a scotch? <laughs> hey Google, next track. Nice. Yeah. Hey Google, can you turn it down a bit? I'm trying to talk. Uh, hey Google, hey Google, can you turn it down a little bit more? The volume's at four. Okay, thank you. Technology. Hey Google, next track. This is. Hey Google, how far is it to the moon? The moon is about 384,400 kilometers from Earth. That's what I just said. That's what I just said. Hey Google, tell me a joke. Prepare to sew up your sides. Okay. Why can't elephants use computers? Because they're scared of the mouse. <laughs> okay. Hey Google, tell me one more joke. I'll let you decide whether this one is sarcastic. What does Thor call his underpants? Thunderwear. Yeah. 
Okay. So, hey Google, can you stop? I'm trying to talk. So there we have it. Voice control with the Harman Kardon Citation 200. I thought I'd just put this little section in because again, I love the fact that it's, you know, voice control. It's quite a fun way to control it especially in the garden or if you're inside. And like I say, the range on it, uh, the microphones are very good inside. So you can actually give it a good shout from quite a distance and it still picks up your voice and does what you ask it to do. Um, like how far is it to the moon? And now at least when you've watched this video, you can say, yeah, I watched Fat Pigeon Reviews and I learned how far it was to the moon. There you go. I'm always here teaching, trying to give you the information that you need. I've also noticed that when it's on the dock, it produces a better sound. Uh, obviously, it's got more power going into the amplifier, so it, it makes sense. Um, but when you take it off the actual dock itself, it does reduce the sound a little bit and the quality. Again, it's not getting the power to the amplifier. It's actually then coming from the DC battery, so nowhere near as much voltage and ampage. Don't get me wrong. It sounds great as well. It's a good little speaker. I do like it. It sounds great when it's off the dock as well and you just turn up the volume a little bit, but you're just, you're just missing a little bit of the richness and the, and the, and the power, um, it seems, in the bass um, when it's off the dock. I'll put a video on just to see if you can hear it. It's only very slight. It's only very slight. So I'll just put a video on, just so me lifting it off and then popping it back down again, just so you see if you can hear a difference. Like I say, it's only subtle, but it is there. I just thought I'd, I'd let you know. So if you are looking at getting one, all I recommend is, just from my own personal experience with it, is place the dock somewhere you're gonna to listen to it the most. So if you bought it for the kitchen, place it in the kitchen, and where you're gonna to listen to it, so where it's mainly on the dock and you're listening to it, you know, in the kitchen, doing your cooking and your chopping, just have it there. And then like I said, when you take it off, it just, just reduces it a little, just a little bit. Like I said, I'll put a video on, just reduces it a little bit in sound quality for me. Um, so yeah, if you do get one, if you want it in your lounge, obviously just put the dock in your lounge and where you're gonna keep it most of the time. Um, and that's where you're gonna get your better sound from. Now, speaking of sound, I like it. It's, the, the, the highs are quite nice. As you know, if you've seen it in my videos before, I like a crisp high, um, a clean sort of, um, reproduction of the symbols and the and the high notes um, and the mid-range is very good the mid-range is quite full uh, I was impressed by the mid-range but the bass sometimes on certain tracks I've noticed it was a little bit everywhere it sort of like did a little bit what it wanted um, not in a mad way like oh my god I can't I, don't listen to, I can't stand it it wasn't in a bad way like that. It was just not as refined, not as tight on some tracks as it was on the other ones. Um, but when I played some rock music, I put a little bit of rock music. Now, I'm not a massive fan of rock music on singular Bluetooth speakers because it doesn't seem to cope very well with the different instruments and the separation. Um, and this one's okay. It does tend to get a little bit mushy. Uh, when I say mushy, it's like you've got all your, your different instruments and your bass line and your singing, and it just sort of like pushes them all together. So your separation is not quite there. It just sort of encloses it and like traps this, well, mushes them together, um, as it were. Just, like I say, only on the rock music. Um, but like I say, but for, for the mid-range, for the strings, guitars, violins, trumpets, it was absolutely fine. I enjoyed it. Now, this speaker's £299. Um, oh, what, why I say that, oh, why I'm there. So it's £299, so Audio Lounge Leicester have actually lent this to me uh, for the weekend, like my, all my other videos, well, most of my other videos. Um, we, we, I don't get paid for it, I just get their name out there and it gives me content for the channel. So this is £299, but what um, the guy that owns Audio Lounge Leicester, Mark, he said that if you watch this video um, and you name drop Gareth from Fat Pigeon, he'll give you £50 off this. 
So I'll put it down to £249. Now, for that £249, it's a good speaker. It's a great speaker. Um, again, it's just a single speaker. I mean, you get in the dock, you get in the voice controls, you get in your Bluetooth. You've got your Google Cast built in, so you can stream through your Google Home. Not a massive fan of Bluetooth because it compresses the sound and it has to go across the airwaves and then it gets to your speaker, so you're not getting your best sound quality. But with it being connected wirelessly to my home network, it then retrieves the information from the home network not being cast from my phone, so you're getting better sound from it. And because of that, you're getting really nice highs. So I've moved this around the room, I've had it in the garden, I've had it in the kitchen. And it performs well everywhere. Now when it comes to dance tracks, now that's when it put a smile on my face. Um, it sort of tightened up that lazy bass a little bit, controlled it a little bit more on dance tracks. And the electronics and all the synths and all that sort of stuff were coming out lovely from this speaker. And again, it put a smile on my face. Um, I can't recommend it enough, really, for £249, and if you like your dance music, don't get me wrong, it does, it's absolutely fine, it's, in fact it's good um, for this price point, for all genres of music. Again, like I said, just a little bit mushy on the, the rock, um, but everything else for me was absolutely fine. And the quality that produces through these, this dance track, I'm going to put the dance track that I did on, I'll get copywritten and all that, but it's fine. Just a separate small snippet video, just a five minute, whatever long, however long the track is. Um, just so you can see if it puts a smile on your face. I mean, don't get me wrong, obviously you've got your phone. If you're watching it on your phone, you're not gonna get sound quality. If you wear headphones, you'll get better sound quality. It weighs about three kilos. So not too heavy, but it's heavy enough to give you the sort of, yeah, that's good quality. You know, if it was, it was super light, you think, oh, that's cheap. But this, it, no, it's three kilos. So it's quite a nice weight and easy enough to carry around with the nice leather strap it comes with here, look. So I've had this in the garden. It's been beautiful weather here. Uh, over the last few days. I've had it in the garden, I've been listening in the garden, um, and even the neighbour next door um, said about how the, sp how, how the speaker was. Because um, he told me to turn it down. <laughs> so it's good enough for your neighbours to complain if you're in the garden. Don't get me wrong, it wasn't, like I said before, it was her voice, I think, that he sort of went, oh, what's that? Can you turn that down? Um, because it was... Her voice is so loud. I'm going to look into the settings on that. We'll look into the settings on that. But yes, it does get loud enough to upset your neighbours for the chat across the fence. Uh, and if you look at the... So if you look underneath, it's got the, the copper circles around there for the connectivity for, the, for just docking in any position back on the dock. So then it starts charging again. See how easy it is? See how... Yeah, aye! So yeah, and it just slots in and now it's, it's charging again. Um, so nice and convenient on and off the dock, but like I say, do put the dock where you intend to listen to it the most and you get a little bit more out of it. These are also compatible with multi-room, I think. I'm pretty sure. Um, yeah, so if you buy more than one, you can link them together, two or three in fact. You can link them all together or you can have them individually, you can select which room to play them in or play all, like I say. Uh, so you've got, a, or, and then you can have two, so you can have stereo in theory as well, which would be even better. So when I was out in the garden with it, it started, it was a beautiful day, like I say, and it started to rain, and that got me thinking. What rating is this? Now, it's an IPX4 rating, so it's sort of shower-proof, you know, uh, splash-proof outside. So, obviously, nothing was damaged when it started, just to drive it a little bit. Um, so, IPX4, absolutely fine. I mean, you're not going to submerge it in water or take it in the shower with you. Um, but, so, well, maybe. But, don't. <laughs> um, but yeah, for, just for light rain, for splashes, things like that, IPX rain, absolutely fine. Uh, you'll be quite safe with that. Now, when it comes to the design, I do like the grey. Um, they also do it in black as well, um, but I like the grey fabric. It's like an old school, old timey, you know, they used to do speaker grills in this sort of mesh, uh, thick mesh. And it has the, the lovely leather handle on the top, because it weighs three kilos, you need a sturdy sort of a handle. And it's nice in this tan, yeah, tan. Again, I think it matches up nicely, the contrast of the, the, the tan leather and the grey, a modern Old retro and modern look, I think they're going for. Like I said, with the old, older fabric that they used to make the old school, big, you know, floor mount speakers, but they're bookshelves, but they were big, they were like a big bookshelf that you put on the floor. Um, like the Klipsch Heritage range, I suppose. With the big grills on. And this is what the sort of material that they used to use back in the 70s and 80s. Um, and I like that. So that's like, the, it's like the retro-y vintage feel mixed with the modern uh, and the leather. Um, and it's got nice, yeah, yeah, I like the design. But as for the dance tracks, like I said before, yeah, that was, that was fun. Uh, I wanna put a sound test on.
the Enormal 11 tracks that I do. And I'm not sure if you've seen my channel before, if you're new to the channel. If you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe and the like button. Um, that's a mouse, by the way, on a desktop. Oh, that's just the screen. <laughs> uh, yeah, hit the like button, subscribe. Um, and you'll catch more of these sort of videos. I've actually got a review coming up for the Arcam SA10 amplifier, the £600, their budget range amplifier. So, again, subscribe and you'll get to see that one. Uh, I think I might be doing that one later on this afternoon or maybe tomorrow. Anyway, back to the speaker. In summary, I liked it. I loved it. I think it's great. For the £250, that is a great performer for £249. Now, personally, I, I think I'm going to buy one. My wife absolutely loved it because she's used it in the kitchen. Um, so because she's got the, the voice activation, she was asking for recipes and things like that and how, how much sugar do I put in here and how much I'm making cookies. What's the best recipe? I'm doing this. I'm, you know, it was fantastic. She absolutely loved it. So she wants us to get one as well. So I think with her approval now, um, we will be getting it. And, and like I said before, the kids absolutely love it. Um, there's a bit of shouty, shouty, but I think they just, I mean, I've got a teenage boy now, so he just likes to shout stuff across the room anyway. So the fact that he doesn't have to get up or do anything, he can just shout, which is what he's used to doing. Um, he can just shout and get the music playing that he wants. So he loved it as well. My daughter's 10. Uh, she struggled to get it to work to start with, but then she, you know, as long as you enunciate, um, and she learned that you know, very quickly. And now she absolutely loves it. She wants one of her own. She doesn't want just one for the house. She wants one of her own in her, in her bedroom. Um, which I don't think, well, maybe we'll see. Multi room. Well, you never know. That's it. I can sell it to the wife. Multi room. She can have one. We can have it as a stereo. She can have one in her. Anyway, that's for me to sort out. It's more of a lifestyle speaker, a convenient speaker. Um, and it is a smart speaker. Uh, it's very smart. And the fact that it's got me to buy one, I suppose. So, so it was just going to be a short video. Just a quick look at this. Just a quick review. And again, I do like it. Um, and the whole family likes it, so we will be purchasing one of these for ourselves. So on that note, thank you so much for watching. Uh, and hopefully, fingers crossed, hopefully, I'll see you in the next one.